Hey, I'm Destiny and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you've seen any of my business credit videos or purchased my business credit ebook, one of the things that we always go over is I tell you to get a DUNS number. And I've had a lot of people ask me about the step-by-step -step instructions. So today I'm doing a video breaking those instructions down, showing you how to obtain that DUNS number from Dun & Brag Street. So we're going to go ahead and pull up their website, which is dnb.com. So that's D as in David, N as in Nancy, B as in boy, dot com. So once you have the website pulled up, you'll see the options at the top. It has small business, finance, sales and marketing, third party risk and compliance, public sector, Dunn's number, and our company. We're going to go ahead and select Dunn's number. Then out of the options that they have, you're going to choose get a DUNS number. And once you have that page set up, it says get a Dun & Bradstreet DUNS number. So the DUNS number is used to establish your company's DNB file, which can help potential partners and lenders learn more about your business and may also help them make more informed decisions about whether or not they want to work with you as a client, supplier, or partner. So the first thing we're going to do is select our primary reason for the DUNS registration. And for most of us, it's because we're doing business in the United States. So we're going to go ahead and select that option. Okay, so once we choose that option, this page comes up and we're going to type in our legal business name. And for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm actually going to use my old business, which is Dusty Hair Collection. And the reason I'm doing this is because there is already a DUNS number attached to it. So once you type in your information, sometimes you'll notice that there's already a DUNS number created for your business, which is absolutely normal. So what typically happens is if you register with the state or you're running an online business, sometimes they'll go ahead and put your information into the system and then you'll just claim it from there. So I'm going to show you what that process looks like. So we're going to type in the legal business name, which is mine's is Dusty Hair Collection. I'm going to type in my address, the city, the zip, and then we're going to go ahead and select search. And as you can see, Dusty Hair Collection does show up. So what you can do is email the Dunn's number. So we're going to select that option. So what it has is you put your first name, your last name, and your email address. And then there's a checkbox for give you free alerts. Now, if you don't want the free alerts, you don't have to select that option. Which if you do select the free alerts, they are going to email you all the time. So I just pay attention to that. And then there's an option to view and edit the company information. But for that option, you'll actually need to have a login to where you can go ahead and register. Okay, but for this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and get a new DUNS number. It says make all... It says, make sure all words are spelled correctly and try again or get a new DUNS number. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Okay, so now once you have that page pulled up, they'll give you three different options. So you can do the $229 or the $399 a year, which is the expedited version where they'll give it to you within eight days or less. Or you can do the free option and it says 30 days or less. One of the things about the free option is the last time I did this, I got my DUNS number within three days. So I always choose the free option, but that's completely up to you. So let's go ahead and select that. Get started. Now we're going to type in our information. You'll just need your first name, your last name, and your email address. And then you'll agree to the terms of use and a privacy policy and select register. And once you select register, they are going to send a temporary password to you, which you'll wait for the email, which can take one to two minutes. And once you receive that email, you'll go ahead and type in the password and then it'll take you to the next screen to where you can update your password to something that you would prefer, which one that you'll actually remember. So you'll type in the current password, then you'll type in your new passwords. And then we're going to go ahead and update and move on to the next screen. Now we have the actual page where we're going to fill in our company profile. So we're going to start with our legal business name, which for me, it's going to be Dusty Hair Collection, which I'm going to leave this sheet blank and take you through step by step of what you need to fill in for each portion. So you type in your legal business name, the year your business started. 
however many employees your companies have. And for the business description, that's going to be a drop down menu. And you're going to select the one that best describes your business. And then we have your company website, your business phone number. So whatever phone number you put as your business phone number, when you do the free version of the Dun and Bradstreet, that is going to be the number where they call you and offer you all types of different business products. They're going to try and get you to upgrade your profile to a paid subscription. So keep in mind, whichever phone number you put there, that's going to be the phone number that they are going to be calling. Then you want to put in your business email and then your business structure. So that's going to be if you're a LLC, sole proprietor, corporation. Now we're going to go down to business location. It says this should be the physical operating location of your business, not a APO, FPO, DPO, or PO box. So if you have a virtual business address, then you'll put that information there. They're going to ask for the address, city, zip, country. And then now we're going to go down to social media. So that's where you'll put your LinkedIn. LinkedIn is the more professional sites, which I do recommend that all businesses have one. Put your Twitter account and your Facebook account. Now, the last step, it says upload business verification documents. So you're going to attach at least two legal documents with your business's name and address clearly indicated. That could be your LLC paperwork, your EIN paperwork. You could also do a business phone number if you have actual lease for your business. Any of those documents will be perfectly fine. And once you have that information uploaded, you'll go ahead and select submit. So now it says your Dunn and Bradstreet Dunn's number request has been submitted. Dunn's number request can take up to 30 days to process. You'll receive an email once your Dunn's has been assigned. And once you get to this page, you submitted all the information. Now it's pretty much a waiting game and you should have your Dunn's number within the next few weeks. So I hope this information was very straightforward because this process can be very simple. And I'm actually going to drop a link to the actual website because sometimes, especially with a Dunn's number, you want to make sure you're on the correct website. So I'll have the link in the description section. And if you like videos like this, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments, drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can Follow me on all my social media channels, which is I am Destiny Adams on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, pretty much everything. And go ahead and stay tuned for the next video.